Hello, hello, it's Thumplet here. Here's an item on number theory. 2 raised to k divides 3 raised to 1024 minus 1. Find the maximum possible value of k. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. So here, we just kind of have to know what's the largest power of uh, 2 that uh, this 3 raised to 1024 minus 1 is divisible by. So we want to try to take a look at the factors of this 3 raised to, 2, uh, the 3 raised to 1024 minus 1. Now we can use some simple algebra here to help us factor. Now we can uh, make the primary observation here that the 3 raised to 1024 minus 1, um, that's just being equal to uh, 3 raised to 512 minus 1 times 3 raised to 512 plus 1. That's just difference of two squares. Now we can proceed, uh, we can uh, move on further here because this 3 raised to 512 minus 1, we can factor it again into 300, sorry, 3 raised to 256 minus 1 times 3 raised to 256 plus 1. We can continue further here. This 3 raised to 256 minus 1, it's going to be 3 raised to 128 minus 1 times 3 raised to 128 plus 1. And we can realize why we can continue on further. It's because um, it's a power of 2. So eventually, this 3 raised to 128 minus 1, it's going to become 3 raised to 64 minus 1 times 3 raised to 64 plus 1. And we know we can continue until um, the last power of 2, which is just 2 raised to 0. So that's just going to become 1. So I'm kind of skipping a little bit of details here. But uh, the 3 raised to 1024 minus 1, we can factor it into these factors. Now, it's not in the prime factorization, but at least we know uh, if we multiply all of these individual factors, so these 11 factors, if we multiply them up, we can, uh, we'll end up with 3 raised to 1024 minus 1. Let's take a look how we can kind of go back. Like these two, it's going to make 3 raised to 2 minus 1. And then I'm going to combine uh, these two. That's going to make 3 raised to 4 minus 1. And I'm going to combine these two and so on. So that's the thought. So we have the following factors. Now, we want to take, well, we want to realize, or we want to know what is the largest power of 2 um, that, is the, uh, that divides the given. So we want to take a look at the powers of 2, or like the factors of 2 in each of these factors. Now, it's pretty obvious to see that all of them are even because it's just a power of 3, which is odd, and then plus or minus 1. So all of them are even. So they both, they, all of them have at least one factor of 2. So let's try to take a look at the, uh, the next factor. Let's try to see if these individual, the, these 11 factors are divisible by 4. So we're going to do something mod 4. And in mod 4, we can write the 3s at, as negative 1s. So all the 3s, I'm going to make it negative 1. So the first one here becomes negative 1 raised to 512 plus 1. And well, negative 1 raised to 512, it's negative 1 raised to an even power. So negative 1 raised to an even power, that's just 1. So the 1 plus 1 here is going to give me 2. So this means that the first factor here, 3 raised to 512 plus 1, this is 2 mod 4. So this being 2 mod 4, this tells us that, well, it's divisible by 2, but not by 4. We can try to do the same for all of these factors, actually. All of these factors highlighted in blue, because we've, it, it follows the same logic. It's going to be a simply negative 1, so the the 3 becomes a negative 1, raised to a certain even number. So all of these, all of the powers of 3s in the highlighted blue terms are even. And then we're going to have plus 1. So negative 1 raised to any even number, it's going to become 2. So all of these blue ones actually, so these are all 2 mod 4s. So these are all 2 mod 4s. So, so all of these factors have a 2. We, we, there is, uh, it's divisible by 2, but not divisible by 4. Now, on the last, the last two factors, it's pretty simple because 3 plus 1 here, that's just equal to 4. So there's a 4 here. And the 3 minus 1, that's a 2. So obviously, there's a 2 here. Now, it's just a matter of counting the powers of 2. So from the first factor, we're going to get 1 because it is 2 mod 4. So it's divisible by 2, but not by 4. Same for the, the next one here. So we're going to get 1 power of 2 here, 1 here, 1 here, 1 here, 1 here. 1 here, 1 here, 1 here, 1 here. And well, 3 plus 1 is 4, so this we're going to get 2. And 3 minus 1 is 2, so here we're going to get 1. 
and it's just a matter of adding all of these numbers up. So I have five ones here, so that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, then twelve. And since we're checking under mod four, that should be enough to um, calculate all the possible powers of two. Now we don't have to do mod eight anymore since um, this is just four, so that's obviously not divisible by eight anymore. So we don't have to include, we don't have to consider mod eight to consider additional powers of two. All right, so adding everything up, we will realize that okay, there are twelve twos technically. So two raised to twelve would be divisible. Sorry, would uh, would divide three raised to one thousand twenty-four minus one. And since we know there are no other possible factors of two, we would get that the maximum possible value of k here would be equal to twelve. And this will be our final answer. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!